elaborate on this uh, point, please. Thank you very much. And uh, to begin with, I would like uh, to say that uh, the tourism industry in global uh, GDP in 2014 was uh, around 9.5 uh, percent. And taking into account uh, multiplying effect, because tourism is uh, a really powerful uh, multiplier, and uh, apart from transport, uh, communication, trade, uh, souvenir products, uh, agriculture, there are many other industries that uh, tourists uh, actually uses, and uh, this uh, multiplying effect in Russia comes to around 6%. So, yes, directly. So, if we uh, say um, the per percentage without multiplier, it will be 1.5. So in Primoria, it is 1.8 uh, without multiplier and 5.7 with multiplier. So uh, there is room for development for us, uh, but some uh, countries, uh, pretty exotic ones, have uh, the uh, FDP uh, share of 22 percent, but. Uh, will hardly reach this level because we are a different uh, region, but still, again, there is room for improvement. In my view, and uh, I do not state that uh, I am the final truth, but still for us, for Primoria at least, uh, the main future is uh, um, our uh, tourists uh, from abroad, uh, uh, because, uh, sure, um, Tourists uh, from European Russia will uh, visit us as well, and we try to develop this area too, but uh, we understand that uh, distances are pretty long, the prices uh, on air tickets are high, and compared to that, uh, uh, one uh, hour by air away uh, from Vladivostok is uh, 400 uh, million people um, and around uh, Moscow uh, that will be 100 million so uh, it is uh, really much more in Vladivostok and uh, around 130 million people can uh, come to visit Vladivostok so I believe uh, there is good ground uh, to uh, think uh, of how we can attract uh, our colleagues uh, from Asia-Pacific uh, countries. And uh, the reasons for that, uh, which I would like to start with, and then I will continue with a certain growth uh, point. So now we have a 2.5 million people, and uh, we are planning uh, to have 10 million people by 2025. And uh, the airport uh, allows us to do that. We have two runways, and we can uh, expand the terminal because uh, currently it uh, has the capacity of 3.5 million, and uh, uh, our runways give the capacity of 22, 25 uh, million. So we can expand uh, the building itself, the building of the airport, uh, uh, pretty easily. And uh, the figures uh, corroborate that as well, because uh, um, uh, this uh, year, six uh, first months, uh, y and y um, improved uh, by uh, 2.5 times. And uh, the national uh, currency rate uh, dropped, uh, so uh, it became uh, more attractive uh, for foreign tourists uh, to come here. And we should not uh, feel sad about it. Uh, of course, probably this uh, national currency rate drop is not so favorable for Russians, but uh, we can use the opportunities. You know, in Chinese, uh, the same uh, hieroglyphic uh, mean crisis and opportunity. So I believe that we have to resort to opportunities more than to crisis. We have to be able to make use of it. Going back to why it is possible and why it is interesting, I would say that uh, without mentioning uh, gambling area that uh, exists in uh, Primoria, I will come back to it later on. So I would like to say that for our colleagues from Asia Pacific region, what is of utmost interest is uh, Russian culture and uh, European architecture. 
And Vladivostok, uh, in uh, all its time being, uh, has been uh, an uh, exclusively economic uh, city. You will not uh, uh, see uh, Asian buildings here. It is uh, a tradition from uh, the imperial times, and our friends and partners from Asian Pacific uh, countries uh, are interested in visiting the city to see uh, this architecture, European architecture, and of course Russian culture, because uh, it is uh, much. Uh, more expensive and uh, far away to go to Moscow and St. Petersburg. Um, and furthermore, we have uh, the theater here that will soon become the fourth stage uh, officially of uh, the Mariinsky Theater. And we also are going to have uh, branches of the Ruski Museum and the Tretikov Gallery. And I have discussed uh, something with uh, my colleagues and counterparts uh, uh, governors uh, from uh, Japan, and they suggest uh, that uh, we come up with uh, some cultural programs uh, for weekends. So a person uh, arrives, uh, for example, on Friday, on uh, uh, Saturday they go to the theater and uh, have a sightseeing tour, and then on Sunday they uh, come back. And uh, it takes uh, less than two hours to fly here from Tokyo. And as for opportunities that we have here, so first of all, uh, that is uh, integrated entertainment uh, area, or as they usually call it, gambling area, Primoria, though I like the first name more, because uh, um, everywhere in the world, in Las Vegas, Macau, Sintosa, they have 40% uh, percent, uh, of uh, income from uh, gambling, and uh, the rest is uh, mice uh, tourism uh, and uh, other kinds uh, of tourism, and we are planning to develop in the same uh, manner. And Dr. Chen, our honorable investor from Cambodia, is uh, going to speak after me. And he is also an investor in our entertainment area, Primoria. And we can say that we see the main factor of tourist uh, attraction uh, in this project implementation. And we have uh, investment agreements signed today uh, for uh, 2.2 uh, million uh, US dollars. And uh, um, stage by stage, as it is never done uh, simultaneously, uh, we are going uh, to build a hotel. And we have uh, four major investors, uh, two of them with uh, globally respected names, that is Melta Crown, um, the very uh, famous uh, company that operates Macau, and another corporation that uh, I have already mentioned from Cambodia. But Dr. Chen will tell about that in detail further on. And we uh, treat this uh, project uh, really seriously. And uh, the regional uh, government uh, took on the responsibility uh, to build all the infrastructure, the transportation, uh, and uh, water supply, and sewer system, and so on. And uh, on the 5th of September, we are going to uh, present the first hotel in this uh, entertainment area that uh, now has a capacity of 150 rooms. and. Uh, by end of this year, we are planning to have uh, this hotel together with the gambling area up and running. Another thing, that is uh, the Ruski Island uh, Priority Development Area. Uh, final decision has not been taken uh, on it uh, yet. Uh, but we agreed that uh, we will uh, finalize it uh, after this uh, Eastern Economic Forum, so I hope uh, it will be approved and uh, the governmental decree on uh, its uh, development will uh, be published. And uh, as uh, there is a university here, uh, one of the areas uh, of um, this uh, priority development uh, territory uh, will uh, be a tourist and recreation and a large impetus uh, to develop uh, tourism in our region is also Vladivostok free port that I believe all those present here know well about because one of the 
major features of uh, this uh, area is a simplified uh, visa uh, and uh, a person can stay on the charity up to eight days uh, without visa. So you receive visa on the border, and the law will uh, become effective on the 12th of October. And uh, very soon, a governmental uh, decree on uh, observation council of the port uh, will uh, be published. Uh, and uh, this uh, system also gives uh, very good uh, customs and uh, tax uh, benefits uh, to those people who enter the territory to implement uh, their investment projects. And sure, we believe that here in Primoria we have uh, to also introduce uh, projects of environmental tourism. And going back to inbound uh, tourism, my colleague uh, has uh, said uh, that uh, they do not uh, use up all the opportunities with the uh, travel products here, but I can say that uh, uh, 2.5 million uh, tourists uh, are our neighbors and uh, we really welcome them. And I mean uh, people from uh, Habarovsk and Jewish Autonomous uh, Area. And uh, we're happy to receive uh, them here. And yes, uh, people from Yakutsk uh, as well. So mm, this is a strong impetus for developing the travel industry. We understand that every tourist brings money and uh, contributes uh, uh, the local budgets, and uh, there is uh, and uh, it encourages uh, invest local investors. Going back to environmental tourism, there's a lot to see. We have like Sikote Aling and uh, the zone uh, Uyghur legend and the future national park in the mouth of Bikin River. But uh, we would not uh, like our investors to just bring us money. Uh, but, uh, for instance, the territory bought two Mm. Uh, small uh, planes for 19 seats to encourage uh, local routes. Uh, we and there are subsidies going to the north of our territory uh, is comparable or even cheaper than uh, uh, going by bars. Uh, also, I would like to thank Mr. Oleg Safonov, uh, present here. Also, we create nine touristic and recreation clusters. As for today, three of them are part of the federal program. And to me, this is a lot because uh, the federal budget is uh, limited in um, its opportunities, so they include Primoria Ring, uh, Pidan Mountain, and Emerald Ring. And we plan to further develop our clusters. So what problems do we have? And uh, of course, uh, I also need to extend on these, um, given that uh, Mr. Oleg Petrovich is here, and also our pot potential investors are here. So what I would like to share with you is uh, our well-known things. So first of all, we need to upgrade and modernize our checkpoints on motorways. At the moment, uh, the throughput is restricted. And on the border with China, it's not possible to um, uh, cross them on private uh, passenger cars. Uh, there is a need for in intergovernmental agreements, but in my vision, we need...